Hey y'all, welcome back to a new vlog. It's Monday. So I've got a opportunity for you guys for my women-led nonprofit organizations. Okay, it is Lululemon Here to Be Grant. So they are saying the Here to Be Grant accelerates the work community-led nonprofit organizations around the globe that are advancing the well-being of people and our planet. So the funding is up to, okay, $50,000. So keywords up to $50,000. So that can be anything from a dollar to $50,000. Just okay. Um, it's all about the verbiage. Applications open June 3rd and they close June 28th. So today is Monday, the day after Mother's Day, May the 13th. So you guys will get this vlog. Let's see. I just finished editing and now i just finished editing this weekend's vlog and it's converting so we're starting a new vlog so this vlog mother's day vlog is going to go up tonight no need in having it sit on my computer when i can just go ahead and post it and then this vlog you guys will see it tomorrow or wednesday so it just depends so i don't know if it's going to be a one day vlog or a few days vlog a few days in life but anywho's I'll make sure to put that link down in the description box. Hey, if you're new to the channel, I'm Shanina. My bad. Welcome. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> I normally say that in the beginning, but girl, I'm trying to switch it up a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, y'all, so today is Monday. My mindset was to go to work today. It's rainy and it's gloomy. The universe had other plans. I didn't get out the door in time. So I like to start on time. So I felt like that was a, the last sign. Like, okay, girl, just stay at the house, get some stuff done, and boom. Why? Because it's all about management, right? Multitasking, balancing work life and home life, all the things. So why not on this gloomy day i do not feel like tussling with the rain anyways okay not today anyways so anyways i'm out to wash my hair i'm just gonna do a regular schmegular wash today just shampoo wash that's it um put some grease in it let it air dry or i may just go ahead and blow dry it i don't know we'll have to see and I need to clean Olivia's room. I want to change her bedding. Her grandmother gave her a quilt or a blanket. So I want to switch it over to that. Her room has been like this Paris theme. So the blanket, it's going to fit right in. It's got Eiffel Towers and stuff on it. It's a Paris theme blanket. So I want to go ahead and straighten up her room. I've given her opportunities to clean her own room. Okay. I've told her, I said, hey. Go ahead and clean your room because you don't want me to clean your room because when mom cleans your room, I'm going to clean your room, okay? So I try to give her an opportunity to do that. She halfway did it a couple times. I let her slide, but today I'm over it. I'm going to clean her room, okay? Just being realistic and transparent with y'all, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And then I need to put some things up that I brought from my mom's house. Uh, she was decluttering. So she passed some things on over to me. So I'm gonna, I didn't see everything that she gave. I caught a glimpse of a few things. So I'm gonna go through that. I don't know if I'm gonna do that on camera or not, but I'm gonna go through that. And at some point today, I think I'm gonna go to the store. I don't know. I need to get some laundry detergent. So I may have to go ahead and go. And I need to get some type of meat to cook or do I? Hmm. No, I feel like we just had those. The turkey patties with the peppers and onions. Didn't we just have those? I feel like I feel like that was recent, right? Ah. Uh, and then we just had baked chicken. We had grilled chicken yesterday. Uh, girl. Decisions. Decisions. But I'm saying that because I still have some greens left. So my mom sent us home with some food yesterday and one of the sides was collard greens and I still have some left. We ate some last night, but there's still some left. And so, and they were really good too. 
but there's still some left and I need a meat to go with it. I can fix the rice aroni macaroni, the white cheddar macaroni that Olivia likes. So I can fix that as the other side. Um, and then the rest of the baked beans. So I think, uh, wait, is there some baked beans left? Oh, I gotta go check. I'll be back. Alright, so I'm done washing my hair. These are the products that I use. I use Giovanni. I got this at Kroger on a clearance for $2.82. This is the Smooth and Silk Deep Moisture Shampoo for Damaged Hair and the Conditioner. I've been liking this so far and it's also color safe so I'm really digging that since I have color in my hair. So right now I'm about to re, um, re up on some coffee i've drunk some coffee earlier before i went to the store and chatted with you guys so now i'm ready for another cup because i'm still kind of chilly i had to cut the air down a little bit in my apartment even though it's cool outside but i had to cut the air down just a little bit because it was humid inside so to have to feel like there's air circulating i have the air down so it's a little chilly so i'm gonna fix me a cup of coffee another cup of coffee so i'm using the brand Seattle's Best. I had a coupon for this. It was a dollar off coupon. I can't remember what the price was. Toasted hazelnut. And while I was at the store, I was checking out the clearance section as usual. And I found this uh, chocolate milk mix. So you could do several things with this mix. And it was 69 cents. So Shanina is going to put it in her coffee. And this morning, um, after making sure Olivia got to the bus, I did have to swing over to Family Dollar to get some creamer. I had ran out of milk at the time, so some creamer and uh, coffee filters. So I was going to get some milk, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to be fancy this time. Even though I know this isn't real cream, but it's okay. <sighs> I haven't passed out from it yet. Vanilla caramel is what we're going to go with. So basically... It's going to be vanilla caramel chocolate coffee.
Yeah, that's good. I don't think I've ever done that before. <coughs> My original plan was... Um, where is it? My original plan, before I decided to go ahead and add this chocolate mix, was to use the rest of this hot chocolate, the Arctic white chocolate cocoa. Olivia keeps saying she's going to drink it, or use it rather. She hasn't done it yet. So I was going to use that, but since it's kind of cool outside, I'm going to suggest it to her. And who knows, she may want it today. So, I'm going to ahead and let that for her. Yeah, this is pretty good. I threw a couple of ice cubes in it. Not too many because I didn't want it cold, cold. But I wanted it cooled off enough for me to just start drinking it. I didn't want to have to wait for it to cool off. Because I don't like super hot coffee, y'all. That whole burn my tongue thing, no thanks. I'm good on that. Alright, so I got some flowers yesterday. I thought they were my mom's flowers, but as we were leaving, I saw her wrapping foil on the bottom of them. And uh, she was like, these are your flowers. I was like, oh, okay. They're pretty. I like them. So I'm going to put them in a vase. This is the one I'm going to use. I've already cleaned it out. Prior to knowing that I was going to get flowers, I didn't know. Um, and let's see. Should I put aspirin in it? In the water? Hmm. Let me move y'all over here. Should I put aspirin in the water? You know, to be honest, I don't even know what the aspirin does. I've done that before, and now that I'm thinking about it, why was I even doing that? I'm going to have to Google it. Why do people put aspirin in plant water? I'm going to have to Google that. Because I don't know. I guess I never really gave it no thought until now. Power stuff already.
That's pretty, I like these. Right now I'm emptying out the bags that my mom sent home with me yesterday. So I've emptied out two of them so far. So in one of them there was some um, pillowcases, a sheet, some washcloths, and a bathroom set. I thought this was pretty cute. I'm not sure which bathroom I'm going to use this in. All of them have the design of this young lady here. So this is the little mat that goes around the toilet. And then you've got the longer mat, and then you've got the mat that goes on top of the toilet seat, and then you've got the shower curtain. So I'm going to put that where the bath stuff goes, and then all of these things. And then in the other silver bag, that's the silver bag. So if y'all hear me referring to the silver bag, I mean those. So those are hot and cold food bags. Anyways, um, there was some Scott tissue and some Lysol. Okay, so Olivia's room is clean. We are done with that. I did a little switcheroo with her dresser and the shelves. So I put all of her girly things over here and put everything else over there. Wiped off the shelves, the dresser, cleaned the mirror, changed her bedspread and her pillowcases to match the bedspread. I think this bedspread is so cute. It has Paris and some other things on this side. And then on this side, it just has Eiffel Tower. So I think that's cute. Her sheet didn't need to be changed. She sleeps on top of her blanket up under her pink uh, little blanket here. So girl, it's still clean from the last time. All right, cleaned off her desk, wiped it down, sanitized everything. I used this uh, mixture here of bleach. It has more of the Mr. Gain uh, Febreze scent in here. I just poured the last of that in here, so that's why it's not um, clear or anything. It was before I poured that in there, so there's not as much bleach in there. But still, I wiped everything down. We did a little bit of disinfectant on everything just to keep the germs down um and so yeah she's good and the floor has been swept y'all i think subconsciously i haven't purchased a vacuum because this is a really good broom y'all it's a broom that i purchased off of amazon you put it together it comes in parts and you just put it together i sweep all the rugs with this broom and you'd be surprised how much dirt is on these rugs y'all it kind of makes me nervous about when i get a vacuum i want to get a bag of this vacuum of how much dirt is left behind after sweeping because it picks up a good amount of dirt i'm always surprised at the amount of dirt that broom picks up so if you guys need a really good broom I'll link it down below. Well, it'll be in my Amazon storefront. I believe it's in there. So if it's not, I'll make sure to update it before this video goes out. All right. So I've got dinner going on right now. I've got meatloaf in the oven. I used ground turkey, um, some frozen onion and pepper mix, and a bunch of seasonings, some eggs, some crackers. I used those as breadcrumbs and Worcestershire sauce. And that was it. So now I'm just making some homemade barbecue sauce. So it's pretty much the same thing. Ketchup, brown sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, um, black pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. 
I think that's everything that I put in there. And then we've got some leftover corn. These are the rest of the greens. And I made some of that white mac and cheese. I did zhish it up a little bit like I always do. Onion powder, garlic powder, and uh, some parsley and a little bit of salt. Oh, and a little bit of black pepper. So just that up. I'm just going to stir up this barbecue sauce. And when the meatloaf is close to being done, I'm going to put this on top of it. Let's see. So I'm just going to give it a little taste. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's add a little bit more black pepper. Let's add a little bit more onion powder and a little bit more Worcestershire. There's something missing. Hmm. Let me see. Let's put a little bit more. I know what's missing. The smoky flavor of barbecue sauce. That's what's missing. But it's good. And I've made this before a few times. Actually, when I one day I needed some barbecue sauce and I had brown sugar and ketchup and a bunch of seasonings and I was like okay let's see how this turned out and I've been kind of making it ever since then unless I just need to buy a bottle of barbecue sauce because I don't have everything to make it myself but it's really easy to make you just make it to your liking mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna do a little bit more wishes here all right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. And let's see, let's add just a tiny bit more garlic powder. I was about to turn it up a little bit, but it's fine where it is. I have it on three. Okay, not bad, not bad. So we're going to keep it like that. I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit. So let me grab a lid. 